Hello, and welcome to this webinar, the Mercatus Investor Portal for Real Assets. I'm your moderator, Melanie Flanagan, and with me are Jason Adams, Head of Product and Engineering, and Ali Mamuji from our product team. Our goal is to cover our content in about 30 minutes and leave plenty of time for Q&A. Feel free to submit questions anytime through the webinar panel. We're also happy to follow up individually if any of your questions are not answered today. Without further ado, let me hand it over to Jason Adams. Thank you, Melanie, for that warm introduction, and many thanks to all of you today who are attending the session. While today's webinar is focused, as Melanie has said, on our new exciting launch of our investor portal feature set, we, I did want to start with a brief introduction to Mercatus for those of you who are not familiar. Starting out as an investment bank, and like many of you on this call, we're very, very familiar with those countless nights and lost weekends pouring over data rooms, extracting data from the documents in, inside of them, and dealing with disparate financial models and the ever-increasing complexity of our daily lives. All of that work to generate investment memos fed with information that's difficult to trust, where we become frustrated with the data risks and efficiencies of our teams and the lack of overall insights that's gonna drive us to better investment decisions. We were so frustrated with this that we built an early version of our product for ourselves. And that effort streamlined and automated those mundane error-prone processes and enabled us to make better decisions overall. So we embraced that, and in 2012, we made the decision to pivot to a full-fledged technology company. Fast forwarding to today, Mercatus Investment Lifecycle Management, otherwise known as ILM, is used by some of the largest asset and fund managers in the world. We focus on real assets, including energy, infrastructure, and real estate, and we are constantly innovating and serving our global clientele, managing over 450 billion in assets across 118 different countries. As we are based on that history, we are so very close to the dilemma that we see in this space in real assets. We, are, we were determined to solve those investor management, investor and management firm challenges caused by those compounding complexities, the poor visibility and, and inconsistencies in our daily lives, our 30 year old problem with the high reliance on email and spreadsheets and the overall lack of forward looking intelligence and insights coming through our fundraising, investing and managing processes in our businesses. It resulted in less time that we had to focus on what counts, higher risks in those investment decisions that we were making and overall impacting the bottom line. First and foremost, we feel that asset complexity is going to continue to increase in this space. As portfolios grow, and many of you venture into real assets if you're not there already, compounding that complexity with new investment vehicles that are coming to market, such as co-invests, direct invests, we understand that flexibility is going to be key here. The demand is also increasing for data transparency from LPs and other stakeholders in the space, which is a trend that will continue to, to, to increase over time. In addition, the line between consumer and enterprise software is blurring. And a modernization of the experience of, your, of working in your daily lives is going to take front and center stage. And finally, a focus on responsible investment practices is taking the forefront in fundraising and segment growth. We here at Mercatus have embraced this through our partnership with PRI and Gresb, and we are actually building our products today and our features with environmental, social, and governance reporting principles in mind looking today to bridge that gap between compliance and economic incentive. So with these fundamental influences framing our webinar discussion today, I'd like to introduce my associate Ali Mamuji. He's gonna walk us through a demonstration of the day in the life scenario that highlights the power of a fully flexible and, and configurable real assets focused solution for modernized investor management. I, I think this is all driven forward by the combined power of ILM and the newly launched investor portal. Ali, take it away. Great, thanks Jason, and uh, thanks everyone for uh, your time today. As, as Jason mentioned, we're really excited about the launch of the product and um, looking at the, the, regist uh, the registration attendees, there are several of you that have never seen Mercatus before and there's also existing customers, so I'm going to cover four things in the next 15 minutes. Let's have some fun. Um, so we're going to first just give a high level framing. Second is I'm going to dive directly into the platform, um, show you um, 
our product and the new investor portal tool. Um, then I'll hand it off back to Jason for some final thoughts. And then um, we, we definitely want to open it up for Q&A right after that. So let's just move into uh, the, the Mercatus overview. So if you're looking at this slide, I'm not going to go over in detail. So um, do take a screenshot of it. But these are the critical business issues that um, Mercatus solves. And as Jason mentioned, we're all encompassing a, a GP or an IPP that's touching the asset management, the, the head of asset management, the head of fundraising, and the head of investment management. So it's this full um, symbiotic ecosystem that we're working on. So if any one of these resonate with you, um, please do reach out to us. We'll go, we're happy, one of our sales teams or myself, to go deeper um, on, on these specific critical business issues that we help solve. But um, for instance, some time and keep it focused, we're gonna focus on the head of investor relations and we're gonna walk through a specific use case of, uh, of an investor relations person. So I'll play the role of an investor relations team member and I'm gonna, let's just play this hypothetical situation where um, an LP has reached out to me and asked a very granular data point on a due diligence questionnaire or um, on an ongoing asset and I'll walk through as someone that doesn't know the actual details of an asset, I'll log into the platform, um, navigate my way and find it. So um, without further ado, let's just jump into the platform and showcase it. So this is our Mercatus platform. And before we, before we jump into the, what we're looking at here, let's focus on the top blue bars up here. So. I'm just going to direct your attention to a few of them. So projects is our deal teams, it's your investment managers, it's people that are um, finding originating opportunities and taking it through due diligence projects and doing the valuation side of those. That's all done within projects. On assets is where your asset managers are um, optimizing the performance on the financial and operational data and tracking all recurring tasks that are happening in the future. And if for those of you um, who have Mercatus, you're going to see a new tab called Investors. This is where your investor relations team can start managing data with your LPs, your, your equity partners, your tax equity partners. That all could be done through investors now. So we'll dive in that in a second. Um, we'll skip over context and documents for essence of time. But for analytics and reports, analytics is extremely powerful. It's the why behind a business. So if you wanted to drive down deeper to say, why has this asset performed poorly or um, what's gonna happen with this asset over the next 20 years, all that type of data on a site level, aggregated all the way up to a fund level could be done in analytics, it's a really powerful reporting. And in reports, any type of ad hoc or manual report, whether it's investment committee meeting, um, a quarterly report or annual ESG report, um, if it's in PowerPoint, Excel, or Word, that could be automated directly in reports. And I'll show you a, a, a report directly there. So um, anyone that's interested to learn more, happy to schedule time after the webinar to dive deeper in each of these. And we'll likely do future webinars on, on each of these subjects. But let's focus in on a specific asset. So let's just say an LP called LP Partners has reached out to me the head of fundraising and asked me a specific question about Liberty Power, uh, about the actual performance of this asset in December 2018. And these type of granular data requests from LPs is more common and we're seeing this trend amongst our customer base that's wanting a lot more um, data granularity. So this is a live example where um, an issue that one of our customers solved directly and found value in. So typically, if a head of fundraiser would reach out to an asset manager saying, oh, LP requested this, and then they have to wait and hope for that asset manager to get back to them. Here, I could log into Mercatus, click assets, and look at my portfolio on the left side. And here, you're looking at the summary tab, which um, many people uh, who are familiar with Mercatus, this is relatively new feature. And it's a really powerful tool where users can build their own dashboards um, directly in the system. And, you could customize it um, among assets. So um, Mercata scales a full investment lifecycle management from origination to asset disposal, and you could um, manage multi-assets. So if I were to click on Liberty Properties, a real estate portfolio company, 
you'll see that the KPIs here will, will change completely. So the users now have the power and flexibility to customize and change these whenever they want. So let's jump back to Liberty Power. So I'm not gonna touch on all these tabs below, but think about what you're looking at as the, the full history of any data changes happened within the system or within a financial model is stored directly within the platform. Um, so I'll, I'll just, and if I wanted to find an annual report um, or a monthly operating report for, for this asset, um, as a head of fundraiser, I'm just gonna click on task here. And this is our workflow management platform where you could sign off, um, send out requests and, and approve directly. So I'm gonna click on filter and I'm gonna look for the monthly operating report and try to find a December 2018 report. I see it below. It, all these are 100% complete. That meaning asset manager is doing his or her job in getting this data in here. I'm gonna click on the December 2018, uh, finalized version of Liberty Power December 2018 monthly operating report. Great, this is what I was looking for. The document's right here and it's time stamping. Um, and then I could look at if has this been approved and there has been an approval structure with an, um, an executive signing off on this document and then if I want to respond back and make any comments directly, I could do it. I could do it um, within the system um, directly. So uh, I'm going to download this monthly operating report and just pass it to um, the investor portal. So if I click download, um, this report will will pop up. So this is a monthly operating report, and it probably looks like a, a, any type of monthly report that you're familiar with that talks about the financial and operational performance. Um, more notably, this report has been automated in our system. So an asset manager no longer needs to spend the time or the manual risk of copying and pasting this data directly in a platform. And they could spend more time figuring out the why behind it, but not putting together the details. So everything you're seeing here is automated and linked to the platform. So you could export it in Word, PowerPoint, and multiple other formats directly in the system. So if this is a value to you, definitely do reach out to us and we could discuss more how we could automate a lot of your recurring tasks. So I'm gonna take this document now and now I'm gonna um, send it to our new investor portal. I'm gonna click on investors here. And this is where you can manage all your investors. So you could create your own filters and your own views similar to what we have in projects and assets. I'm gonna click on LP partners to upload this document. Click documents. And you'll see that you'll see this arrow now here. So if I were to click on this, you'll see this new ability to share documents. And this is very powerful. And it lays a foundation of this ecosystem of sharing data and um, passing information, whether it's a portfolio company to a GP or a, a GP to the LP. We now have the flexibility to share certain files directly. So I'm going to click on fund two here and I'm going to upload this document, click new. I could drag and drop multiple files here. I have it. And it's uploaded in the platform. So now, Drum roll, please, Jason. I'm going to log into the portal. And this is uh, something you've probably never seen before for a lot of you. So we're pretty excited to showcase this. So I'm going to log in as John Smith, who's the head of an LP. And, I, and John Smith would have been notified that document has been uploaded. And you'll see this dashboard, which was very similar to what you saw within the asset. So this is a portfolio level fund report that you could customize for an LP. And another powerful and what we're so excited for is the reactive ability of the, of the platform. So if I wanted to just log into the mobile, um, I'm going to click this and let's go to an iPhone screen. And if you're logging on a phone, this is exactly what you'd, you would see in the platform. And you'll see that everything was updated um, to be reactive to this new mobile format. So if I'm an LP manager, a portfolio company, a channel partner, a legal team member, I now I could access documents um, and, and information directly from my mobile device or tablet.
So if I want to um, look at an ESG report, I could filter down there and see that information. Now let's go find that document. So if I click on documents here, click LP partners, click fund two, click asset report. And voila, you have that um, document here where you could export um, and have the full technology that you're familiar with with most uh, documents room. So um, hopefully this all gives you a sense of um, a, a fantastic starting point and, um, um, uh, of getting documents and information passed through this uh, wonderful ecosystem you, know, you all are growing uh, within your organization. And uh, I'm going to hand it off to Jason now. That's, he's going to talk about the vision and where he sees this going next um, um, for, for your organization and others. Thanks, Ali. <clears throat> Great job on dem demonstrating that. And like Ali said, we're really excited here. And I want to reemphasize Mercatus's dedication to the modernization of the real assets world. That's what we're all working here towards. As the industry continues to change and people expect a more consumer focused, consumer based experience in dealing with these complex problems that we see as investors in the financial world, we need to build tools that innovate the space that help our clients take power, take control um, and extend the power of being able to build their own insights, deliver those custom tailored insights to their LPs in a way that is controlled and in a way that is easily consumable on the fly. And so that's where we are taking the product. We're moving forward and, and helping each of our constituents <clears throat> join together the power of the end-to-end -end real assets platform inside of ILM and bringing modern investor relations, channel partner relations, and, and overall uh, con uh, collaboration management to the forefront by pairing these two powerful feature sets and marrying them together. So I wanna take, want take a minute here and thank each and every one of you for taking the time to learn about Mercatus, learn about our new and ILM powered portal. And we really hope that each of you reach out and we can share the depth and the breadth of what we're doing here and the innovation that's taking place here at Mercatus and how we're driving real assets into a new future. I promised that we would do this in under 30 minutes. I think we might have set a new speed record for the, the fastest webinar, but we did want to leave time for Q&A. And so we do encourage you to send questions via email through the chat session within the webinar panel. Um, I do have a couple prepared questions, so I'd love to kickstart it, but please, for the, the audience, we'd love to hear from you. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. Let me start with kind of an obvious question, but there are other investor portal solutions on the market today. What makes ours different? So um, I'm extremely familiar being someone in private equity and investment banking for all my life. I'm very familiar with the different point solutions. And um, I, I do think where people are looking to get to is a way to connect investment data with investors. And our, our portal is just a, a, a clear extension to what our our whole ILM management system is. So um, it, it's the ability to have the right data at the right time and have access to in a seamless way um, to invest in your ecosystem. And Ali, I'll, I'll add to that just a little bit, which is the, the sheer power of doing self-service um, business intelligence that's interleaved into the partner portal today that really differentiates it. We're really providing a toolkit to our GPs and our users that allows them to go in and create custom experiences that are that are tailored specifically to those investors that are looking at those specific assets. And again, keeping in mind that all that data is being derived at the site and at the asset level with a granularity that previously wasn't available in the market. Excellent. Great. I love this question. Somebody asked, how quickly can you get up and running with the investor portal? So I'll take that, Mel. Um, it's a really great question, and we're really proud and excited to, to, to let everybody know that this does not require um, large deployment times, 
as many of you would be familiar with other partner portal products out there in the market, this is um, a lot of investment has been gone into the infrastructure and the deployment capabilities of how we get this up and running. And so this is fully self-service. It's brandable for each of uh, the instances for all of your investors and can be deployed with a click of a button and, a, and, and an intuitive interface um, on the configuration side of ILM. Awesome. I had another great question about when we talk about this as an investor portal, clearly there's a lot of different constituents that could utilize this, both internal and external. How different, how unique, how special can you make that experience look for different investors, different users of the portal? Yeah, I'm happy to take that, Jason. Sure. Yeah, so what our vision at Mercatus is to create um, a data ecosystem where um, we really want to focus being on a modern technology. You know, all of us who are sitting at this table and probably um, who's listening in now um, are technology is all around us. And uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of integrations and a lot of ad hoc uh, data being passed forth. And we're all looking um, for a modern new way of doing things. So um, the vision of this is it is connecting any type of external party out of your organization the clear pain point is directly with investors because most people are trying to sell investor confidence however when it comes to your channel partners your business partners we're looking for a full ecosystem that connects all um, all your players in a, in a single location um so it is anyone external that we, we definitely want to connect and and who needs the, the right data at the right time i like it um, this is a specific question. Uh, can the investor portal be used for senior executives that want to see certain dashboards while on the road? For example, if they're meeting with an existing portfolio asset or LP. Absolutely. And, and the beauty of the way that, that this, this feature set was designed really embraced the responsiveness um, of modern uh, UI and, and web development. Therefore, absolutely, the portal can be used to as, as a mobility product to have quick access to specially designed dashboards and insights that can always be at those executives fingertips. Um, not only is it limited to executives, but really custom tailored to anybody in the businesses from those C-suite executives all the way down to an asset manager visiting a site and only having access to uh, the cell phone in their pocket. They want to go ahead and look at at something as far down in in the in in depth as you know how is the the hourly performance of a given uh util uh given energy asset so we got a question here does your portal have the capability to include options to onboard investors so to capture key information for subscription documents aml kyc so it's a great question and the answer is yes and uh what would mercatus is embedded within the platform is to put um walkthrough videos or other type of onboarding videos. So a common use case is uh, one of your portfolio companies needs to log into the platform and uh, we want to remove all the thinking um, possible. So a portfolio company will log in and see a quick video that's tailored for that given organization that walks them through exactly um, how to leverage the platform and how to do training. And that same capability is now being leveraged for LP investors, where if an LP walks in, there's a clear onboarding uh, of what needs to happen directly in the platform. Awesome. Do we have another? So I'm going to throw out one last question, and then we can let everybody get back to their day. But just thinking about the, the vision of this, you know, a lot of companies talk about virtual data rooms, a lot of companies are growing through acquisition, just kind of thinking, putting on your visionary glasses for a minute, kind of where could this go? What's next? That's a really great question. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful wrap up question here. And, you know, leading the product and engineering groups here at Mercatus and sitting here with Ali, um, you know, what we're really driving to is 2019 is really the theme of it is the year of the user. We're taking major investments in making each of their lives easier and bringing to them a new way forward in real assets investment management, uh, modernizing their experiences day to day, giving, you know, letting them focus more on on elevating those insights to help make better decisions without 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 investing in more of the mundane. 
the more management of data, the more grabbing documents out of document rooms, reading those documents and extracting that information, task management and, and having to track down who signed off on what and when. Instead, making all of that as automated and efficient as possible and always empowering them to be able to make those critical decisions and, 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 and fully immerse themselves in their business while on the fly and providing that power and the form factor that works for them based on wherever they are, whether it be on a laptop or on a mobile phone in their pocket. Empowerment, I like it. Great. Well, that concludes today's webinar. Uh, we hope you found it val valuable. We very much appreciate your time. We will be sending out an on-demand version and we always welcome feedback. If you'd like more information about our investor portal for real assets or anything else we talked about today, please do reach out to any of us on this webinar or through our website at gomercatus.com. Thanks again for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.